Hey, welcome back to One Shepherd Ministries. I'm Kurt Risch, and today we're diving into 1 Chronicles chapter 18. This is a chapter filled with David's victories and God's faithfulness. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you can keep joining me as we read through the scriptures. Let's go ahead and get started. After this, it came to pass that David attacked the Philistines, subdued them, and took Gath and its towns from the hand of the Philistines. Then he defeated Moab, and the Moabites became David's servants and brought tribute. And David defeated Hadadezer, king of Zobah, as far as Hamath, as he went to establish his power by the river Euphrates. David took from him 1,000 chariots, 7,000 horsemen, and 20,000 foot soldiers. Also David hamstrung all the chariot horses, except that he spared enough of them for 100 chariots. When the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadadezer, king of Zobah, David killed 22,000 of the Syrians. Then David put garrisons in Syria of Damascus, and the Syrians became David's servants, and brought tribute. So the Lord preserved David wherever he went. And David took the shields of gold that were on the servants of Hadadezer, and brought them to Jerusalem. Also from Tibhath and from Chun, cities of Hadadezer, David brought a large amount of bronze, with which Solomon made the bronze sea, the pillars, and the articles of bronze. Now when Tu, king of Hamath, heard that David had defeated all the armies of Hadadezer, king of Zobah, he sent Hadaram, his son, to king David, to greet him and bless him, because he had fought against Hadadezer and defeated him, for Hadadezer had been at war with Tu. And Hadaram brought with him all kinds of articles of gold, silver, and bronze. King David also dedicated these to the Lord, along with the silver and gold that he had brought from all these nations, from Edom, from Moab, from the people of Ammon, from the Philistines, and from Amalek. Moreover, Abishai, the son of Zariah, killed 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. He also put garrisons in Edom, and all the Edomites became David's servants, and the Lord preserved David wherever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and the minister judgment and justice to all his people. Joab, the son of Zariah, was over the army. Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, was a recorder. Zadok, the son of Ahitub, and Abimelech, the son of Abiathar, were the priests. Shavsha was the scribe. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and David's sons were chief ministers at the king's side. Well, that's it for today's reading. I hope that 1 Chronicles 18 reminds you of God's faithfulness and how he works through his people for his glory. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who might be blessed by it. Also, don't stop there. We have so much more for you to explore. Check out our other videos. There's some on screen now. You can also check out our playlist we've created and spend some time on our channel. It's a great way to grow deeper in your faith. Also, don't forget to visit our website, oneshepherd.org. It's still pretty new and in development, but we're excited to share more resources and tools with you as it grows. Thanks for being here today. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you walk with him. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow.